Hello, I'm Jolene Matthews from the University of the West Indies St. Augustine campus. The title of this presentation is The Monumental Rise of Tusulu Overture to Women Abroad. A significant outcome of the death of African-American George Floyd on May 25, 2020 has been the Black Lives Matter movement, which swept across almost all states in the USA as well as other parts of the world. Supporters of the movement condemn police brutality, reject racism, and demand justice. One strategy widely adopted by the campaigners has been attacks on monuments honoring individuals such as Christopher Columbus, Edward Colston, and General Robert E. Lee. Interestingly, while monuments glorifying these individuals have been torn down, 13 monuments in honor of Tusili Overture stand tall in the Americas, France, and Africa. Tusili Overture was a formerly enslaved person who eventually distinguished himself as the liberator of Haiti, both from slavery and European colonial rule. Haiti fittingly has the honor of leading the world in memorializing Tuse by a bust which was sculpted in 1870. On two occasions, the 1912 fire at Haiti's old National Palace and the more recent earthquake of 2010 the bus suffered damage, but was salvaged. Thus, in the Haitian popular imagination, the bus symbolizes more than freedom from slavery and colonialism. It is a testimony of the indestructibility, not only of Tuesday's legacy, but also of the Haitian people. Cuba is the only other Caribbean nation which has deemed it appropriate to erect a monument paying tribute to Tuse. At the unveiling ceremony in 2002, officials commented that the bus embodied friendly relations between the two nations, especially with regards to the education of Haitians in Cuba. In North America, four monuments celebrating Tuse have been mounted. The statue in Miami, completed in 2005, is embraced by the Haitian community there as a positive turning point in the identity crisis they experienced in their adopted home. The Tuse statue on display from 2011 at the Smithsonian has been regarded by its curators as a fitting icon of one of the greatest men who ever lived and ought to be known by the international community. The 2010 Quebec statue of Tuse simultaneously captures the diasporic experiences of Haitians and the numerous scholarship which Tuse's life has engendered. Dominic Demery, the sculptor, who fashioned the bust of Tuesday in Montreal in 2017, has emphasized the extent to which the monument underscores Haitian contribution to culture in Montreal, as well as its power in inspiring Black youths in the city's troubled East End. France, Haiti's former colonizer, has erected three monuments to Tusa. The Fort de Jou bust, is a reminder of the liberator's cruel treatment in his last days, but also symbolizes his inerasable legacy as Haiti's emancipator. The Bordeaux and La Rochelle monuments reveal the discomfort the French experienced in facing their slavery past and have also exacerbated tensions between memorialists who wanted the monuments and city officials who preferred to hide the inglorious chapters of the past. Finally, Tuesday Le Overture is celebrated in Alada, Benin, Africa. Here, the statue is a physical object through which claim to Tuesday as a son of the soil is made. For while he was actually born in Haiti, 
His father and grandfather were born in Alida. It is not certain whether the international monument of Tusili Overture will withstand reaction to the Black Lives Matter movement. It is absolutely clear, however, that his monuments provide a powerful counter-narrative to those which are presently being torn down.